Hello and happy birthday, May 22nd babies. Our early Geminis also happy birthday to the departed, the late legend. Today would have been his 98th birthday, Charles Antsnavour. If you don't know who he is, he's famous all around the world uh, in a lot of places outside of the United States. Uh, he was also someone who did a lot to help Armenia. And so I would just say this, guys, those of you who have been really concerned about what's going on in Ukraine, it's been happening to Armenia for a very long time. So those of you who feel moved to help or to donate to those kinds of causes, maybe look into what's going on there. And if you feel moved to help, please do so. But we're going to see what's coming up here in the next 24 hours here for whenever you find this message, whether you see it May 22nd, or may you see it a year from now or a week from now. It's going to be the intention here for the next 24 hours. So the card that's coming up here for the next 24 hours is the Seven of Cups. Now the Seven of Cups is actually really positive. Um, it can be something is happening that we feel like, oh my gosh, is this really happening? I feel like I'm dreaming. I want to pinch myself. It feels like a dream come true. But it can also come up at a time when we get a little bit stuck and we're not sure how to move forward but it's a positive and it's a good problem and i'll tell you in what way sometimes we get really stuck in life because we're like there's no options i'm so stuck there's no options there's nowhere i can go there's nothing i can do and so i don't know how to move forward then we start having the crown chakra clearing we start waking up and we start seeing solutions where once we saw problems and then we get overwhelmed in a different way. Now we're overwhelmed because there's so many doors and we just don't know which one to go through. So a lot of the times when we say, I don't know what I should do, I don't know what I should do, we do have some ideas, but we don't trust ourselves and we dismiss them because we grew up thinking that we have stupid ideas or that we value stupid things. And so we teach ourselves over time to not want anything or to not think of anything and to just kind of see what we can have, right? It's that attitude of you get what you get and you don't get upset. And so we go through our whole life waiting for whatever we're supposed to do or whatever we're supposed to have to be handed to us. But when the seven of cups comes up, we realize that, hey, I can actually get a few different things here, but what do I want? Seven of cups says you have to make a choice. You have to make a decision. You don't want to wait so long that all the options get taken up or fade away or fall away. So if you are feeling stuck, seven of cups, I always say, Write out a list of the uh, of the solutions or the different doors that you could go down right now. The different ideas that, that have crossed your mind. And one by one, imagine yourself living that life and pay attention to how you feel when you're seeing this in your mind. Which of the scenarios make you the happiest? Which of the scenarios make you feel the most fulfilled? Then take note of that. These are the scenarios that really resonated with me, that I got really excited about. So once you have that list, start doing your research. What do I have to do to make this happen? How long might it take? What are the steps that I have to take? Do I have to take a certain class or get some kind of certification or license? Do I have to uh, buy some kind of um, uh, material or, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Not machine. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, it is a machine, some kind of equipment for it. How might I come up with the, with the money or how might I come up with the time? What are steps that I can take to, to, uh, to make this happen? Once you do that research, you're not going to be stuck anymore because it's going to be very clear to you which ones of the options that felt good to you that you can start on right now 
and which ones are the ones that are going to be the bigger goals that you're going to work towards over time. And so you go from being stuck to all of a sudden, you might have a five-year plan, a 10-year plan, some of you. Okay, I can do this right now, right? And as this comes, this is going to help me get to the next goal or to the bigger goal. And now you're not stuck. Now it's very clear how to move forward. Now you have a really good solid plan. So Seven of Cups here is telling us it's time to really look at our choices and really check in with our heart and like, what do we want? What do we want? And to give ourselves permission to want that thing, to give ourselves permission to have that thing. And the little exercise I gave you is just coming in from my own experience uh, to bring in the logic, to bring in the planning, right? I didn't pull the justice card here, but the justice card is about balancing the mental and emotional aspects. It's about bringing the head and the heart to work together. When we learn to teach our head and our heart to work together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. We can make really big things happen okay so bring in that logic bring in that planning but also listen to your heart and you're going to know how to move forward and you're not going to feel stuck anymore and you are going to feel like wow like this is a life that I actually enjoy this is an existence that is no longer just an existence it's a full vibrant life it it's it, it it's it's not a chore it's it's you know learning and growing and experiencing right so many different layers so many different dimensions that bird is really jumping out at me it's like you're coming out of the darkness and you're embracing that freedom there's nowhere you can't reach so think about that, pray about that. Uh, the weekly forecasts for the coming week are up. I have them linked in the description of this video. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description of the video that um, is going to take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. Um, love readings for May are linked in the description. I'm still working on the June love readings. They'll be up soon. Uh, one more thing I want to say, guys. Uh, some of you have emailed me and asked me about the June 18th workshop that I was planning to do in Phoenix. Um, I am going to go ahead and cancel that per a lot of the feedback that I received. Um, I got a lot of messages coming up about doing it online. And I think that if I focus my time and my energy and the money that it's going to cost me to have the workshop, if I put that money into getting some equipment here um, and getting a space where I can maybe do some recording, I can put together like online stuff, like an online course um, that can help people uh, or reach a lot more people. And also, I had a psychic reading done for myself. I haven't gone to a psychic in a really long time, but someone recommended um, this sweet little 90-year-old woman here out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I saw her, or I didn't see her. We actually did it by phone, and it came up. And I didn't tell her anything about it, really. Um, and so based on what came up in that reading... Uh, it would be better and it would be much safer for me um, not to do it in person right now, okay? Um, uh, there, 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 there are people who don't mean us well. The majority of you are wonderful people and I love what I'm doing and I love that I'm connecting with you all. Um, but I do from time to time receive you know, certain things that aren't so nice. And so for the time right now, I'm not going to do anything in public or in person, but I will put together something online and I will still um, teach as many people as I can how I read and how to read intuitively. 
uh, and other things I want to put together too, other courses. So this is the beginning of something new. I thank you for your patience. I thank you for receiving the messages. And I'm wishing you all a wonderful day ahead. Take care and be well, my dears.